How's it going guys? My name is Graham and welcome to QT, the cute clone reimagining of the horror demo that was on the PlayStation PT. A little while back, YouTube rolled out channel memberships so people can pay like a few bucks a month to subscribe to the channel. I signed up for that service without really promising anything, just to kind of try it out, test the waters a little bit. One person signed up! So special shout out to Spitfire, currently the channel's one and only member. As a bit of a thank you, I ran a private poll for them only, just saying which of these games do you want to see? They voted for QT. So yeah, this game is solely dedicated to them currently. <laughs> Who knows, maybe I do more with that uh, service in the future. You know, I've never actually played PT, and I think I saw a tiny bit of videos on it, and it was too much for me. I couldn't really handle it. So this, I'm hoping, it's kind of starting a little bit spooky even. See, I don't like that. I'm not down for shit like that. We got someone panting and everything. Oh god, I'm very taken off guard. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that sent a bolt through my spine, only for it to be this happy little fellow. And I'm very, very hopeful that it doesn't suddenly turn back around on me. Because I went into this fully uh, just assuming that it was going to be zero scary. So the fact there is remotely anything that startled me was coming as a surprise. <laughs> if there's any interest whatsoever in me doing more channel... Uh, membership based stuff and doing like private streams and everything you guys will have to let me know and that's something I can look into This guy reminds me of like the little pink be pe best buds <laughs> From the uh, amnesia Fortnite game that Pendleton Ward made with the double fine guys Hi, my little cactus friends We're just like filling up the house with a bunch of lovely little friends a bunch of good good little boys and girls happy little books happy radio friend juice that guy it doesn't even matter. I think he's a dollar, a dollar bill or something. It doesn't matter. Instead of dollar signs, it's just more happy faces. The telephone's happy. Everything's happy. Everything's good. I think uh, fear is an illusion. And we can just forever live in a world of perpetual cuteness and love. And I just hope more than anything that that never changes. I like collected that little bug, I think. Okay, I'm going to collect all the bugs. Oh, it made me re... Oh god, <laughs> a giant ladybug! That's way more legs than a real ladybug has. I don't know if that's more or less cute than a, a typical ladybug. No, some people are not fans of, like, many legs. But in a ladybug, ladybird, little beetle, I would maybe have to think a little differently. So I actually have, like, tasks to complete, which I wasn't really expecting. Which I appear to have maybe once again failed. Oh no, the yellow light is different too. Oh, we got a nice little light bulb. Where's it going up there? A light bulb just hanging out on top of another light bulb. He just felt that that one could use a break. Probably some friendly motivation like that. That he was just trying to lend a hand. Contribute in ways that that light bulb that already existed by itself could not fulfill. I missed the doorway entirely. There's like a little uh, jingle that plays coming through the door, and I don't know if that means that I have, like, correctly advanced to the next stage or not. Right there, just four kind of rising notes, but I keep coming back to the same thing. Maybe the bug was supposed to totally block me off, and I go back the way I came. I haven't done that yet. Just keep backing up. It doesn't... Not an option. Maybe I have to actually collect the light bulb, but I, I can't like jump. I can jump on top of the ladybug. I did not think that would work. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, and then we got a new friend up there. <laughs> now he's even more like a little pink best bud. He's a little bigger, but he's only got the one arm. Kind of goofy. We have like a capybara poster, which is even better. I don't, I think even some of the posters and everything might have changed. <laughs> everything is so nice. I honestly just didn't expect to be able to jump up on the back of the ladybug because it's a two-dimensional object. What was that? Now we have like a little portal that we go through every time. <laughs> I like the looks of the portal. And then you can literally go back into the closet. Oh. That seems broken. Oh, no, no, no. That was an achievement. Nothing at all. Just like Flanders. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. 
How, how about you there, little hard hat wearing pickle on the ground, slug, whatever you are, are you responsible for the, uh, the blueprint, the layout of this infinitely looping little world? Now you guys are starting to look like whatever they are, like Mr. Angry and Mrs. Happy and all those old creatures. We have like a real person, I'd high five you if I could. What are you guys working on constructing? Doing some renos to the house, trying to make the architecture a little bit more physics based maybe just like a hint more grounded in reality it sure would make getting around a lot easier i was supposed to like go meet my pal just a a, a short little while ago we were going going down to the beach to have a party i i'm wondering if anyone can point me to the direction of the beach first step of that would maybe to be to get out of the house even I think I just collected that turtle, so keep an eye out for more. I don't know what this guy is. Are those all arms or legs? They look like mostly arms. Hey! Nice little dance everyone's got going on. You look even more like the Mrs. Happy and all those guys. This guy, I like, I think he's supposed to be playing on his keyboard, but it looks like he's just got a real fun little jig going on. He's just kind of shimmying his hips. <laughs> hips a little bit. Hi, everyone! Oh, pretty fun looking game you have there. Nice. He's playing like a little farming simulator. We have like a chaise lounge or something that's walking around. Just having a nice fun little roof party. Oh, he's playing video games too. He's just got a fun new angle on it all. I think there was, I'm fairly certain there was only the one turtle. Oh, I have like, I thought I had more achievements because I had the one hidden one. But I suppose that achievement might be hidden. Ooh. The music changed to a little bit of like a party. I want I want to like pull the curtains back and see see what kind of fun stuff they have going on. They all got all kind of dance lights, black lights going on, fun little like coral decorations. A little tiny teeny tiny person dressed up as like a whale, and then a guy dressed up as like a bi a, a bigger whale or a submarine of some sort. Is everyone dressed up as fish people? It's a very fun themed party. I'm very glad you guys invited me. I'm, I'm all about this. You guys brought like gallons of the friend soda. That's how you know it's a good party. I love that lizard. I love all the lizards just climbing all over the walls and everything. I'm very sad to live in a country that like, oh my goodness. Okay, there's also an absolutely goddamn enormous one. Hit, lift me up, dude. Support me. I see that he's, I, I, I guess I was supposed to like follow his eye line. But you lift me up, give me a boost, dude. Like crowd surf me up there, cause I wanna, I wanna meet this big lizard. I wanna like high five him or something if I can. Oh, I got the light swinging around. I didn't even realize I could interact with it, swatting it around like that. We also got a crab man, where his his head is an entire crab, and then he separately has his own human body. Similar situation with this crawling fish person. There's a little bit of uh, confused identities going on here, but overall I really dig the aesthetic of what these guys had going on. Hi there, weird banana banana man. Yeah, I'll give this little boy a high five if you're going to hold him out for me. Are these supposed to be spiders? Because it said that this was like uh, all about spiders. Spiders. Yeah, bottom left achievement there. Spiders. Hee hee hee. Spiders. <laughs> so these are them. What a what a way to make spiders less terrifying. I had also specifically mentioned that I had never finished PT. Pet the other side of the cat there, little boy. That's the wrong side to approach it from. Mailman's letters are running away from him. I wonder if there's like a spider-based PT level that's normally very terrifying and now we have this very friendly one. You guys uh, blocked off the wall. Nope, it was just a trick. Nice prank. Nice prank, everyone. <laughs> Had me going for a second there. Turns out it was just as easy as walking straight through it. So long, buddy. How many legs did they, did they give you? Seven. Not enough. But that's the difference between scary spiders and friendly, fun, cool spiders. Is having the seven legs versus eight. It's that eighth leg that makes them into monstrosities. Eight-legged freaks? It's a thing. No one gives a, gives a darn about a seven-legged, regular old, mind-in-their-own-business spider. And I mean a spider that minds its own business. I don't mean a business spider with a briefcase and, like, a, a fancy hat. Although I also really like the sounds of that. So I, I must have to, like, uh, progress things. It appears that I am, like, just looping now and have to actually find potentially small branches in this story.
I do not really- I, I don't know what Weemble is. So I- there's a lot of achievements related to Weemble, and I haven't figured that out. The telephone? Can I call anyone? There's this one little fish at the top of the staircase. I can't- I can't collect that guy. He's just kind of- just hanging. Just hanging out, but nothing I can truly do. Oh! Okay, well now we got a new thing. Would you happen to be Weemble? Because I'm really, really hoping to find Weemble here. No, just a weird little half-finished floating man. That's fine, too. I won't judge. Just like I won't judge this uh, character that has two faces. They're still nice to their dog. And then this, this freak. I gotta judge them. What the hell is that? Ugh. Disgusting. So much detail. No one wants to see that level of definition in their pictures. Absolutely disgusting. We've crossed back over into horror territory. What do you have? What's what's on the edge of your string there? What are you trying to reach, little kid? What did you... Whose, like, hand is coming up through the wall there? What? I... It's like a weird little robot, robotic bunny head. And like a little baby. Hey, you got something for me there? Fun little stack of cards, some pamphlets or something, just getting encouraging me to come join your guys' lovely, friendly little commune. I can just become part of the, the hyper-friendly fam. I want to pet your dog. I'm going to get in on that, okay? I, I'm sure no one will mind. Dog pettings all around, always encouraged. The fact that some of this stuff has been here the entire time made me think I could interact, but no, just the book and all that, just stay. When I get the angle just right, there's a fraction of a second where I can see through this door, and there like are things in it. I don't know how well that's translating, it's, it's there, oh I managed to kind of pause it on it. That's what I'm seeing repeatedly, so it's obviously very colorful, so I feel like there's got to be a way inside. Oh, my gloves. What just happened? Where am I? Oh shit, I was trying to like mess around with these boards more, trying to figure that out, and I like slid sideways into this room. Is this wall something you can also walk through? No, only the one. The little fish chilling out with the glove. So that was just, these look useful. Oh, can I actually use gloves in some way? Has this opened up the ability? Oh, oh, interacting, interacting with things, yes. The big target. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how particularly useful that seems. I, I seem to have just kind of ruined your guys' painting. I'm sorry about that. The, the phone, though. The phone, probably. Maybe. Radio. The book. Oh, this thing, too. There's so many things that I felt like would be open to grabbing. Whatever this cable is running up top there. Everything that I thought I could grab, I can't. And for whatever reason, I can grab that one painting? Can I grab the doorknob yet? No. I can't grab anything. There we- oh, there's one painting. One painting I can, and on the back of it, is that? What? What good does that one particular little smiley face do? Wait, you guys all have things. Oh, double smile. Just like- just like that guy had. This one, double smile as well. Oh, I guess that makes sense. You also are double smiling, and this guy, regular. Regular again. None of that seemed to have any purpose whatsoever. Whoa, okay. I can... Oh, I can basically type in Morse. Uh, reset. Undo. I didn't mean to draw, like, the shaft of a dong. I'm trying to, I'm trying to do a thing here, and now all of a sudden I think that this might have been a clue. So, eyes smile, eyes smile smile, eyes smile smile, eyes smile. Right? Okay, yeah, but I'm gonna have to reset. Unless this is a... It sucks if I, I'll rotate into a room where I can't properly execute that. Back in construction land. We'll, we'll quickly investigate. This sort of stuff still works, so that's promising. Oh crap, no, like, undo though. Cause I did it wrong. I did, I did bad. Alright, I'll just try, I'll just try and do it. And see if it's just looking for the pattern to show up anywhere? No, okay, I entered too many things. Now I can do it. Oh, yeah, you can even hear the door opening. Crushed it. Crushed it. Bathroom door. I did not think this was a bathroom. And upon closer investigation, I'm still not confident it's a bathroom. But if that's how you guys are going to treat it, then, like, I'm sorry to disturb you. But maybe, you know, uh, lock it better next time. Don't hide some cryptic code. Oh! 
Oh, I found shoes. Again, I didn't even see those on the ground. Coffee? I wanted some coffee maybe while I was at it? Is this who I am? Am I playing as this character? I think that would probably make the most sense. This character just kind of hugging all these creatures. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, you can really book it now after that. Yeah, but if you're gonna have your little path private bathroom party situation going on there, then I request that you do more to protect your own privacy. Putting a, a, a secret outside that could be solved and discovered by anyone feels rather irresponsible, you know? Oh, new one! Lily pads and frogs. Happy little stumpy frogs, tall little frogs, very standard looking frogs, legs only frogs, all kinds of frogs. This guy would be very valuable to like the restaurant industry, making sure that you're getting all kinds of those legs to serve up. This guy either had none to give, or he gave them all already. Oh, oh I don't know who's better. I was gonna go to hug frog and go hang out with him, but then I saw little tappies. Little Tap Frogs. I can't remember the name of that subreddit. I think it's literally called Lil, Lil Taps or something like that. It's a great subreddit of animals just getting overly excited and kind of tapping around. This guy belongs on there. He's a little he's a little tapper for sure. And you big hug frog, you're a great guy as well. Long sausage frog, wide-eyed frog. I love them all. Weird and in every which way. Are, you guys are like literally building the new things that I'm encountering. Hey, is that what's happening? I run into the construction crew and then I find a new layout that I haven't seen before. Oh no, I got the spiders back. I've, I've met the spiders before. Maybe I'm, I'm just spending a little bit of time in the spider area while they finish up their construction. That could be all that's going on. Kind of looks like the uh, Snapchat ghost, which I found out the other day that the reason Snapchat is a ghost Oh, now I'm gonna have to look up what the hell it was called. Right, it was originally called Pickaboo, which I guess is less catchy. I guess. This is fun. Whatever, dance around with the lamps and stuff. I don't remember seeing you guys down there before. That feels new. It's changed ever so slightly in this area. But yeah, to me, Pickaboo is the better name. It's more clever for sure, but I guess Snapchat is like pretty damn catchy, so I, I get it. Say cheese! Thanks, thanks for taking my picture. Oh, sorry, I was, was he trying to get- okay, so, sorry. Sorry, I'll, 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 I'll get out of your guys' way, I'll let you do your thing. Bemo! What's up, buddy? At least that's who it looks like. Could just be a regular Game Boy type creature. Wow, you're real tall, mister. Okay, I, I still don't know anything about Weemble. Okay, I, I am going to figure out how to get up to that lizard, if, if possible. Grab me, lift me up, dude. Oh! Oh, I think I'm standing on that very, very thin ledge. Okay, okay, there's potential here. Maybe I could, maybe I could make a little something more out of this. What other way could I go? Jump all along this to see if there's some other weird ledge that I can clip into to get higher. You can't Mario your way into the Capybara poster. No luck there. Do you know what? You don't fall properly. The game kind of snaps you back into place. So maybe... Maybe I'm not meant to get up to my lizard friend as colorful and amazing as he seemed. That's... that's too bad. Okay, now we have like a weirdly empty hallway, but very fun music. Oh, just a, a family of like regular people just playing around with a dog. Good boy. Good boy. Weird that you're kind of like, seems like you're kind of pushing his face in your butt a little bit and they're taking videos of it. Weird. Not a recommended way to go viral. It might get lots of uh, clicks, but you're going to get a lot of backlash to go around that. No one wants to see a butt-kissing dog. I know on paper that seems like a, a real winner of an idea, but I I wouldn't expect it to, to go very far for people to, to really latch on to that one the way I think that you think they will. Closed for now. The computer world has an extra little portal and that light bulb got stuck in that wall. Has this changed? No, it's still, it's still just the glove. I gotta come back and try the roof thing again when there's the guy who tries to like wave you up there. But I, I've only seen him once or twice so maybe that's like a missed opportunity. 
Oh, this portal's like permanently there now. I gotta figure out a way to get that open. Oh, is she actually moving? No, she's not, but she's just chasing after this guy. Hey, excuse me, sir, your, your bones seem to be falling literally out of your body. Okay, I'm actually obsessed with the idea that they made it like the shape of like, you know, not even a real skull, like a cartoon skull, where it's got like the little teeth line at the bottom there. And then they still drew like a regular looking nose and mouth on it. It's the silliest looking thing, but it actually also looks absolutely incredible. Hey, they must have finished. Oh, I thought for a second, for some reason, yeah, yeah, yeah. When you get the angle just right, whoop. <laughs> no, it's still closed. Dang it. But you're working on it though, right? That is promising. Wait, you're not connected to this in any way, are you? If I like wing this around a bunch and do whatever to it, which I, I honestly don't really understand because it doesn't seem to do anything. Hmm. There's something up there this time. Which one of the rooms is this even? This is the spider one. The spider iteration. What is that? I want a better look. I know I can get on this ledge. Okay. Just a shirtless dude and his weird snake buddy. Totally no reason for that to be there. You could barely, barely see it. Cool. <laughs> cool. I don't know if I can give it too much credit. It's quite weird. Hello, goose. I have ran through this quite a few times at this point, and weird micro minor things are changing, but I, I keep ending up in the same rooms. But, like, not enough is changing, and not every time, like, that was the same as I've, I've seen before. Okay, I'm up on this stupid ledge, but now I can't seem to get past that. Can I keep kind of ringing around the wall? The way that I was? No, not even, hey? But it seems like there's something going on in the corner here that you can jump, and even though there's nothing there, it sticks you out a little bit. You can jump across. Okay, doesn't work great. Not, is pretty consistent. But I, I can't seem to actually get over the ledge still. There's something on the roof there. Crap, okay, I want to try and like, See if that's something that you're supposed to be able to jump up to, to like, uh, click and interact with. Oh, this is gonna take some, some doing. Jump, move. <laughs> Not even close to really interacting with it. Oh, I've... If you could click on it, I think I would have that time. Oh, my ledges and edges seem to support you even when it's like the most minuscule amount. So my next guess... Oh, the window frame! It worked! Okay, okay, but like, don't move. Don't move. Oh, I'm seeing through the top of the world. No, but there's definitely shit up here! Uh, where do I jump to? How do I like, how do I clear this? How do I, how do I end up above? <gasps> escaped! I had an achievement for escaped, but like, I, I, I didn't stay escaped. I, now I gotta, now I gotta really... Uh, now I gotta really play around with this to see if there's a way to actually stay out, or if it's just... Even if I can't get my head out there, just kind of look around and see what goofy shit they kind of hid outside of the game world. Maybe you're supposed to access it a different way, but it said it was like a hidden achievement, I think, so... It seems like access to it might be hidden as well in like, the most absurd possible way. Goofy guy with the hat, fun sun in the distance there, just nice bright yellow colors. <gasps> Another little white ghost looking dude, and another little white dude up on top of the roof there. Okay, I made it this far goofing around with the game, but I, I needed to know. I needed to know if you could take it further than this, and I found a video of a guy who's similar to like whatever the ledge glitch is there. Uh, there seems to be another one here. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Oh, and then I fell through again. Where did I just end up? I want to go back to where I just was. Not hanging out in like this corner with Dora the Explorer. I don't want to be here. I like the look of where I was a second ago. Crap. I hope I didn't accidentally just like forever stick myself into wherever I am now because it looks a little bit broken out here. Slide on down. I'm literally outside of the, the hallway. Like, this is the hallway. The hallway that I'm walking through a billion million times over and over again. I suspect, I think. 
Okay, that's different though. I don't know what that is. There's like a sun. Oh, okay. Well, hey, what's up, dude? You're not- you wouldn't happen to be we Wemble, Weemble, would you be? I thought maybe one of you guys would be Weemble. This guy's in the main menu and he's all glowing and happy looking. That seemed like it would probably be a thing. Alright, the fact that there's like a ramp here and everything, I think wherever it is that I've ended up so far is still supposed to be within the game. It's not like I found in some super duper 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 secret. Hup. Ah, uh, that seemed like a really good idea to hop around like that, but it didn't didn't get anything. That's where I would hide some stuff. That's like some them devious Mario hiding places, Odyssey hiding places, you know. Oh, there's definitely definitely a way up. I can also find out what just happens if I like chuck myself off the edge of this weird world. But mostly, I want to try and collect that screwdriver or whatever. <laughs> And the ball, and the guy in the hat, whatever all this is. There's all sorts of fun looking stuff going on up there that I want to be a part of. Alright, I'm chucking myself off. Hopefully it respawns. Nothing at all. There we go. Okay, I gotta try that again though, and try to not get stuck the way that I did. Yes. Okay. Okay, this is where I was trying to get to, and I fell down there before. So now we have fun waving hat guy. We have someone just jamming away on their computer playing cards. This thing is just like a leg, I guess. A foot and a leg? I don't even really know what it is. Maybe it's just kind of nothing. And then just a really small picture of some walking. This guy's really slapping his lats to the beat. These two are jamming out together, enjoying their fun times. Hey, okay, if I make it up to here and I like hang with you or talk with you, will you guys complete that portal? I'll have like a quick access point to get back onto the roof because that would be great. I want to I wanna come hang with you guys. The roof people are my people, you know? We got Snapchat himself hanging out up here. <laughs> I, I dig the vibes you guys got going on. They throw cool like fish themed parties and stuff downstairs, but you know, they're throwing the same party every third or fourth day. I want a little bit more variety in my life. Or maybe just a break from partying, you know? So if I come up here and visit with you guys now and again, then maybe maybe we can come up with some cool, fun stuff for us to do that doesn't involve all that ridiculousness. Another portal that I don't know how I will open. Sup, guys? Hanging out in, like, the blue temple. Wait, is this... Is this Weemble... Weemble Temple? Is there... <laughs> I just called it a temple, but that word might have been supplanted into my mind by that. We have, like, the weirdest characters here. This guy is just a pair of pants with legs. This guy is, like, I can't even tell you, two broken skis or something. This guy, every individual limb and everything is smiling. And this is the temple. So Weemble lives here. This is Weemble, then. Yeah? This is the second Weemble I've met. I found Weemble, but that's the second Weemble I found. There's still quite a few things that I uh, apparently haven't found at this stage. Oh! So now are the shortcuts going to be open? Because that was a lot of work. Ah! It's not even here at all! Oh yeah, I had to restart while I was trying to figure things out. Oh, but this opened! Oh my god, thank you! How's it going, you little light beans? What do you guys have going on here? Oh, okay, okay. This is another hallway. I'm going to kind of keep my back to you so I have a, a reference. Okay. I just didn't want it to be entirely in the dark because then I was 1,000% absolutely going to get lost. Hey, dude. You look pretty muscular. Complete QT. I did not expect the game to have an end. I think breaking through to the roof was a part of the game? That was, like, required to finish this, which I did not expect. I had to restart, so I lost the spiders thing. I never figured out the eels. How do I... Can I, like, keep playing? Do I... Can I reset or something? Oh, I can probably leave. I can just go back. That was, like, the finish, but I... You guys lit the way for me. Okay, going backwards through that was very confusing because those guys lighting things up don't do the best job. There we go. Wait, there we go. <laughs> I could not figure that one out at all. You, I never figured out. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh. Hello, snakes. Well, 
managed to fit in a jump scare right at the end of the game. That was the, uh, the eels. And you still, I still don't think you had anything to do with that. That was completely independent. Hi, eels. You're very adorable and silly. This guy was sitting there like that. It's, what is even going on in this game? These different, like, limbs and stuff? Could I, like, attempt to assemble this character? What did you do in here, in your little baby? The two of you ripping so-and-so to shreds? Evil, evil creatures down here. But I think that's it. I think it's completed. So there, happy family, house full of eels. And you know, sometimes there's a lizard man up in their attic and, and what have you, all that fun jazz. But otherwise, a lovely, lovely family. And there, there, now I actually did complete them all. I re, I regained spiders. So there, I've, I've held 100% of the achievements all at once, which feels slightly more complete. Yeah, so that was, that's cutie. Again, special thank you to Spitfire. I know that we've already done, like, series votes on the Patreon and things like that. I guess it's a thing we can also do over here. I gotta try and think of a way to balance that out. I might try and make it so that, like, Patreon or channel subscription, you get the same bonus content. I gotta figure out how I would manage that, but I would like to make it so that people don't have to choose. They can just do whatever one feels more convenient for them, like, personally. So if I just set it up in a way that you're gonna get that same, like, bonus content or ability to participate in, like, the very odd vote that I don't do publicly, publicly, because I still do public votes, then, yeah, I'm just gonna hang out with the swan at the end here. I gotta come up with a system for that. Let me know what you guys think, I guess. I don't know. Still figured it out. <laughs> I also like that it makes it look like the swan is the one singing the song, like, the burp, 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 burp. There. Those, those are coming from the swan. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again soon.